All right, good morning, agents. This is Kevin Lauren. I'm the Director of Training and Marketing. And today we're going to be joined by DJ Bibb from Fidelity. And he's going to go through their awesome tool, Fidelity Total Farm. So this is something that we went over a couple of years ago, but I know that there's been changes to, to uh, Fidelity Total Farm. And we have a lot of new agents. So we want to make sure everybody has access to this awesome tool. Uh, before we get into today's presentation, we're going to bring Bill Seitz, corporate broker, on the line. Good morning, Bill. How are you today? Good, good. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, all um, the Alta agents out there. Yeah. So um, we've been talking to DJ um, a lot lately, and I'm glad that you guys brought up uh, Total Farm because that's an amazing tool. And I know the agents that haven't used it are going to benefit from it. So this is really, really cool. Yeah, I think it's that time of year into kind of keep pushing that um, end of year marketing preparation for 2024. It's always a good time to revisit this stuff and go back through it and refresh ourselves because um, none of us, and certainly including myself, don't retain every little important bit of information about marketing, what what uh, can and can, cannot be done. And so it's always good to jump back in and DJ's going to have a really nice presentation today. So that's great. All right, perfect. And I'm going to make DJ a panelist, but we're also, before we bring DJ on, we're going to bring on our own Debbie Sacconi from Clearview Mortgage. So let me get Debbie on the line with us as well. Hey, Debbie, hey, good morning. Debbie, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to all the agents too. Um, this is Debbie with Clearview Mortgage and and um, I am going to talk about a subject today that I find exciting, and I think it's also a subject that is very perplexing to um, most people, and that is credit, credit scores. Um, so, you know, you probably wonder why someone has maybe a lower score and you know, someone else has the same kind of credit and they have a higher score. There's a lot of things that are taken into consideration. And also, you know, I would, um, I would, when, when you're talking to, to, to your potential client, I would ask them, you know, hey, have you ever checked online for your credit score? And see what they, you know, what, what they're seeing there. Even if it's on the low side, I just had kind of a miraculous thing happen the other day. And that was, um, I got a client that had, a, like, in the fours credit score. And I'm thinking, I don't know if we can get this, this higher, but the only way I'm going to know is if I run their credit so we can get the credit an analyzer. And we also have access to a credit simulator. The interesting thing about once we run someone's credit, we have access to those two things. The credit analyzer basically just shoots out, here's our analyzation of how to get the credit score higher, if that is possible. Sometimes it isn't. And then there's another thing that actually was what I tried with this client, uh, which was the credit simulator. The credit simulator is where we basically, I go into the, the, the simulator, I see their, all their credit items on their, their, uh, their a credit report. And I start going, well, what if we pay this one off? What if we reduce the balance on this one? What if we take this person off as an authorized user? What if we add a new credit report or uh, credit card? There's all these what ifs that a person can do to possibly get their score up that may be different than just simply what the credit analyzer is giving us. And sure enough, got his score up to over 580. Now, we can do an FHA loan with a 580 credit score. So um, this is a difference between someone feeling like, well, they're never going to get into a home because of their credit score. And someone having some kind of hope and a goal and something to reach 
to get to that point. And, and, you know, I'm not saying I love working with these kind of loans all the time, but when I get them, I will work it. I will work it. I will figure out how can we do this, you know, every which way. So, but there's some key things also to keeping a score on the high side. Okay, if you want to score in the 700s, high 700s, 800s, there's only one key to everything, and that is available credit. The people that have the most available credit have the higher credit scores. So what does that really mean? So let's say you have a credit card with a $10,000 credit limit and you have a $9,500 balance, your available credit is $500. But if you had a $10,000 credit limit and a zero balance, you have $10,000 available credit. So that's the difference between, you know, people think, I, I've had so many people tell me, oh, I heard, that if I get a credit card and I and I use it right away and I keep using it, that's going to get my, my credit score good. That is so wrong. I've had people come to me with zero, with no credit scores at all. If they were to go out and get two or three credit cards and just start using them, which they can, by the way. A person with no credit score, by the way, I, I know I'm kind of flipping back and forth, but these things come to my mind. A person with no credit score can have a credit score in 30 days, over 700, boom, just like that. But if they if they don't do exactly what I re request of them, they are not going to get a credit score over 700 in 30 days. Here's the key. People think when they get a credit card, they have to start using it and start getting that, you know, um, experience with their, their credit to make their credit score higher. The minute you do that, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax literally want to wait six months until they're really going to score you because they really now they, they're like, oh boy, she used it. Okay. Now we got to see if she's going to make the payments on time. Here's the difference versus getting a credit card, putting it in your sock drawer. Don't use it literally after 30 days. This is a person too with no credit score, but it can be done with a person with a lower credit score also. After 30 days of not using it at all, the score will improve or a person with no scores will have a score right away off the bat over 700. It happens every single time. So using your credit card, and, and I've even seen on the credit report where they actually used it. They didn't do what I told them to do. They had to use that Capital One brand new credit card with a $500 credit limit that they, they finally got, because that's probably the limit they're going to get if they have no credit score. And on the credit report, it says, it, it states clearly from Experian, TransUnion, or Equifax, that uh, they'll rate it after six months. So these are little keys that uh, people don't know about or people think they have to get credit cards and use them right away to make their score higher or to even get a credit score. That's not true. There's also something else with um, Experian and TransUnion where you can rate your utilities. So you, you can do that right online. That will give you credit experience. It's a little helpful to get a credit card, but people with no credit scores can, I mean, Capital One, Credit One, those two in, in particular will give, they're, they're very forgiving. They'll give brand new people a, a credit start, maybe with a small limit, but especially with a small limit, you don't, just don't want to use it. Don't, don't use the credit card. So there's little tips that once I actually see a credit report, and that's kind of key, you know, I can help someone most of the time 
high percentage get a higher credit score, either immediately or long term. It depends how, you know, what's affecting their, their credit score. Um, people that, when I say immediately, let's say they simply, they've got a Capital One credit card with a $500 limit and a $450 credit balance. And all they have to do is pay the credit card down to a $50 balance or a $100 balance. Once I get a letter from them or from Capital One confirming or a new statement, we can get a rapid rescore in, in like two to three days. So we can improve their score instead of waiting 30 days for something to happen with Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. We can do it right away. We have the um, ability to get that rapid rescore. Basically, I could go on and on about credit, but um, I, I don't want to take up your morning. If you have questions about credit, if the person will not allow me to run their credit, that's going to be a problem. I can't help them. But if you can encourage them, look, this is the first step. Uh, or you have questions even about your own self, you know, feel free to call me. There's like some tips and and great things out there that even though credit is a mystery, um, it's also really fascinating what we could do with our credit scores. So I'll leave you with that. That's awesome. That's awesome. And Bill, anything uh, to add to Debbie's uh, comments there? Uh, yeah, just real quickly. Um, that is the nice uh, kind of added bonus with working with Debbie or, or the Clearview team is because we do know how to do these things. And a lot of, a lot of mortgage companies won't um, do these extra steps or do these analyzations of credit. And it's not only the borrowers that are just trying to scratch into um, the lower tier of the credit profile to get into the homes. Uh, we've also helped a lot of the higher end um clients that maybe can jump from a low 700 into the mid upper 700s by just looking at the credit and figuring out where their balances need to be or what needs to be ha what needs to happen and then they get the better pricing which is always a big bonus um in that scenario as well so like debbie said there's all these different scenarios um and that's why uh you know if you have questions you know give us a call because um we know how to do this we have the ability to do it and it makes a huge difference from somebody thinking, oh, I can't ever, I, I won't be able to do anything. My credit's crap. But as Debbie said, that's not always the case. And so uh, let us give you a, let, let us see if we can do it. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, perfect. Well, thanks, Debbie. And thank you, Bill. And so now we're going to bring uh, DJ Bibb from Fidelity on the line. Good morning, DJ. How are you today? Maybe unmute. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for having me. Can you hear me okay? Absolutely. Loud and clear, DJ. Oh, terrific. All right. Um, I would like to do a screen share so that I can talk about this uh, this platform. Yeah, let me enable that for you. All right. You should have. Access now, DJ. Okay. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Terrific. Okay. So good morning. Today, I want to talk about our digital farming platform. We call it Fidelity Total Farm. Now, I don't know how many of you guys are involved with farming or how many of you guys use a digital platform like this one. I know other title companies have them as well, but I am a big fan and a big believer in using one of these. Um, and if you're not a, a tech forward person, if, if you don't think that this is going to be something for you, I, I still encourage you to listen to the presentation because this is not just what you can do for yourself, but this will give a clear kind of example of what kinds of things we can do for you. Uh, we are full service. Having these types of platforms is not our way of putting uh, any of the burden or any of the effort back on the agent. It's actually to empower the agents to to be able to have full access to these things uh, that we can do, but also um, just to show them what types of things we can do for you. Um, all right, so this is what 
Fidelity Total Farm looks like when you first log in. Um, I'll first go through some of the benefits uh, and key features of it, and then I'll walk you through not a full demo because I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I want to give you a brief demo so you can understand how to navigate through the site so that you can explore it, and then I'll show you how to set up an account, um, and then you, if you guys want to set up an account, we can do a full demo uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. That way we can discuss your farming goals and, uh, and what you want to accomplish um, because Believe me, going through this always leads to those conversations. Um, yeah, that's perfect, DJ. We just, you know, obviously this is just going to be a, an overview, and then you guys can get, you know, your hands dirty with uh, with DJ once you get, uh, you know, an appointment with him. Perfect. So, um, the key features of, of using one of these is that it will store and house all your farms for you. So it's a nice, you know organized place to, to store your farms so you can keep track of them. It will automatically update any farm stored uh, every two weeks. Uh, so it will always be up to date when you're ready to use it. Upon that update, you're gonna get an email notification, which you can turn off if you don't wanna get them, uh, but you'll get an email notification letting you know what has occurred in that farm in that last two weeks since the last update. Those are things like sales, um, as well as life events, births, deaths, divorces, um, notices of default, notices of trustee sale, uh, things like that. It's going to notify you. I've always this is a, <laughs> I've always believed if you're truly going to farm and be the expert, you got to follow it like a sports team. You got to know all the stats and be able to rattle them off in conversation. And there's nothing easier. Uh, to keep up with when those when that information is pushed at you through an email rather than you having to go in and explore it on your own. Um, okay, so we've got life events. Uh, it has a full stats page, which we'll take a look at. So uh, I know that we have trend reports out there and you've got your Altos reports, but those are only as big as county, city, or with Altos, you can get an individual zip code. But with this, you can get stats on any individual farm that you want or that you want to create. Um, it allows you to explore new farms and see where all the sales activity is occurring. Uh, it allows you to create farms and check out turnover rates and property types. Um, and it also has plenty of micro farms, which we can talk about, and additional farming filters. So you can really hyper-focus your, your marketing efforts and target specific audiences. So those, th those are what I think of as the top key features. Um, if you use this for nothing else, I think it's great just to simply house your farms to keep them up to date and receive those email notifications so that you can stay on top of what's, what's happening within your farm. Um, so with that said, Let's explore uh, the platform and see how it works and how to navigate it. So this is a demo account I've created. When you first log in, this is what you see. Uh, these are where all your farms will be listed. Right now, I've got two farms in here, Collins Island and Irvine Terrace. Shows me the date they were created. It gives them a grade. Um, I believe in you know creating our own grades, but you know they they have one in here. Um, Gives you the turnover rate, gives you the total number of records within the farm, gives you the date it was last updated. And then here's the sales alert. So if you didn't want to receive emails, you would simply uncheck this box right there. This little button here, this is a drop down menu. You're going to see this on every screen. It's going to always be in this kind of top right hand quadrant. And this is your export menu. So if you click on this, you can see all the different ways that we have come up with uh, for you to export whatever information you're currently working on. So if you export from this page, right, you're gonna export the, the entire complete farm and you have one button for each, each farm you have. Um, if you just wanted to download the entire spreadsheet, you know, the whole CSV file, you can do that one. If you wanna use a CRM, we've loaded it with almost every CRM that we can come up with. Um, so if you use follow-up boss, this will export it in a CSV spreadsheet already formatted. So follow-up boss, you could export from here and immediately go and import it um, over there. 
Um, anyhow, so we have, we've got lots of different exports uh, um, that we can explore. Let's open up a farm and, and see what kinds of things we can do. So I'm gonna open up this farm and it gives you all the farming information, right? These are all the different records. It shows you 10 at a time. You can increase that to up to hundred if you like. And if you scroll to the right, you know, it gives you all the, all the information you're used to seeing within a farm, the site address, the sales price, the bedroom, bathroom counts, the property type, property square footage, lot size, sale date, mailing address, et cetera. It's all, it's all in here ready to be viewed. You can click on anything. So this one, and we can view this, this property. Here's the ownership information. We've got the loan information. If we wanted to edit this, right, this is in a trust and we didn't, we want to make it seem more personal. We could edit this name here to eliminate, you know, the trust and just put, you know, the Corey family um, and save it. It will, it will export that way every, every single time you do it. You can do a street view on the property. You can get a property profile right here by scrolling down. Um, you can do a deep dive where you can pay, I think a dollar and you can get a little mini background check on the owner. So there's lots of property information you can access right here. Going back to the complete farm, the way we navigate through this page is through a series of tabs here along the top. The first one being the stats. So as you can see here, we've got stats on this individual farm. We got turnover rate, the average number of years people stay here, the average 12 month uh, sales price, total number of records. We've got um, seven absentee owners, three out of state owners. Gives you the number of buyers in the last 90 days. And then it gives you some graphs and some charts. These can all be adjusted to show either one year, five years or 10 years. These are all exportable. So you can add these to whatever marketing materials you guys wanna put out there um, or just use them for your own use. Back to viewing the complete farm. If you wanted to see any of those little individual micro farms or organize them, right? If you want to see who those out of state owners were, you just click the out of state tab right here and it automatically organizes it. So you're just looking at those records. The absentee owners, the owner occupied, they're all single click reorganization. We have some additional farm filters. Here we've got different lengths of time that people have owned the property. Empty nesters are 25 plus. The idea here is you can come up with different marketing campaigns to target each type of homeowner. Because as we know, the more targeted our message is to a specific audience, the higher rate of response we're going to get. Um, they've added some new premium features down here, which I'm really excited about this one is short-term rentals. So we can click on this, and this is only if you're a premium member, but you can get a list of all the properties that are on uh, VRBO, Airbnb. Um, it doesn't know if it has the short-term rental permit, but it knows if they're on those sites. So those are great marketing campaigns to send out because there are lots of investors out there that wanna buy those types of properties, and this is a way that we can target them. Um, Going here, these filters right here, these are the LE features. So there's a $20 a month premium subscription that allows you to get to these filters. Um, if you're just curious about these, I have a premium account. So I'd be happy to, you know, send you a sample of these or we can, you know, do a one-off just so you can see if it's something that you're, you know, that's worth your, your money and your effort to get involved with. But um, this will give you all the properties that are currently listed in a farm. Um, this will give you anybody who's purchased in the last six months and has it back on the market. So these are potential flippers. They're great buyers and they're great sellers. If they exist in our farms, we wanna know who they are because we wanna work with them. 
This will give you an equity analysis on every property within the farm. Hot properties is every property that has 40% or more equity. Ready to relist, this, e, this is a list of properties that have been on the market in the past um, and they never sold. So it goes back about six years. It eliminates our most recent year. So you won't step on anybody's toes who recently had an expired listing. But these are people who wanted to sell enough to interview agents, put their home on the market, sign a listing agreement, take some photos, probably do an open house or two. And for whatever reason, they didn't sell. So they, you know, they may still be thinking about it. FISBO, these are all the for sale by owners uh, in, in the farm. So you could, you could target these people. Over here, we've got some premiums. These are all the cart premiums. But this is where you would come to get notices of default, notices of trustee sale. We can purchase phone numbers and email addresses. So you can do some, you know, digital farming. New marriages, births, deaths, divorces. We can purchase all this information right here. So how do we get a farm in this account um, to be maintained and updated? There's a couple of ways we can do it. One, we can upload it for you. You can simply give me the name of the neighborhood or the street boundaries that you want to use. And we can create the farm and have it uploaded in your account within 24 hours. If you wanted to create one yourself, it's very easy. You just simply click create farm and you can draw a polygon around it the way you've seen on many other sites, but it's very simple. I will just trace out Lido Island and then I hover over it and it's gonna give me some quick calculations, which I can base my decisions off of. So it tells me I've got 903 total properties with a total turnover rate of 3.1%. Out of that, you have 821 single families, and it shows that turnover rate. It shows you how many condos, the turnover rate, how many townhouses, and other types of properties. If we only want the SFRs, we can simply uncheck all these boxes. And if we want to move forward with the farm, we go down here to the bottom left and we click continue. From here, we can reduce and filter it out further if we want. I don't like the idea of doing it here. I'd rather do it on the spreadsheet and have a complete farm here. Um, but anyhow, you have that ability. Um, once you've done so, you click go down to the bottom, you click get count, send it to the farm manager, you give it a name, you click agree and hit send. It will magically appear in your home screen dashboard where all your farms are stored. Um, if you wanted to explore a new farm, you can go to the heat map. This you can look at, right now it's showing us Newport Beach the last 30 days. We can increase that to 60 days, 12 months, et cetera. It's gonna show us where all the sales have occurred with these little pins. There's a key down here at the bottom that tells you some information on each pin. They're color coded, so you know the price point. Um, you can zoom in. And you can see where the clusters of activity are. This is something you can do before you go and create a farm and see what the actual turnover rates are. Because if you were looking at, say, Newport Shores over here, you can see, well, there really hasn't been that much activity in the last year. Maybe I want to focus over here on Dover Shores where they have a little bit more activity. And you can recalibrate uh, this for any city or zip code through this little search window here. Um, you can get property profiles simply by clicking here. Oh, and best yet, there is a mobile app that goes with this that will help you if you like to door knock or walk your farm. You can view all those things on your mobile app. And also you can get a property profile on the go um, with the mobile app. So that is a very nice tool to have with you as well. Yeah, DJ, that mobile app is incredible because what a better uh, tool to have in your pocket when you're on a listing appointment or you're just talking with any kind of client. You have all of that information at your fingertips because clients have questions. What are, you know? What other uh, uh, properties are for sale in the area? You got all that stuff right in the palm of your hand. That's really, really powerful, huh? 
I couldn't agree more. Yeah, I, in my opinion, if, if this is overwhelming for anyone and this is like, you know, maybe this isn't for me, the best parts about it are one, you got to have that mobile app to be empowered to have that information everywhere you go for a property profile is, is essential. And then, like I said, um, it's a place to store your farms and, and to get those automatic emails so that you can be updated every time something happens within your farm. Um, yeah. And, and like, like DJ said, guys, um, you know, you can easily export this information from the farm directly into your CRM and you can start doing some, then from there you segment that, uh, you know, all of those, those uh, people in that, that farm into different groups. And then you're able to do very targeted uh, marketing and very targeted communications to those individual groups that, you know, people that just bought the house. <clears throat> well, Hey, you may just want to be giving them a little, Hey, you know, I'm the realtor in the area and, you know, uh, let me know if I can update you with any of these, you know, any, any comps or anything like that. Um, way softer than somebody that's lived there for seven years. Um, you can have a completely different message, right? DJ. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Your recent buyers, people in the last 90 days, we can pull them and just give that nice welcome uh, greeting, you know, campaign that you mentioned. Um, absentee owners, these are investors. We should talk to them like investors. If you're going to market to them, you know, treat them that way. They're going to get a better response rate. You can send them stats. You can send them tax information, all the different things that investors like to get. Um, and if they're out of state investors, right? Keep them up to date on what's going on in California. You know, you can be their boots on the ground um, contact here. Um, and if they're traditional owners, owner occupied, you know, let's talk to them in that way as well. Talk to them about staging or community events or, you know, different things that you can do for them. Um, so anyhow, that that is a brief, um, as brief of an overview as I can give. Um, I want to show you guys how to sign up for it if you guys are interested, and then we can um, we can plan another Zoom call where we can go through everything that you were interested in or any questions that you have, or we can talk about your farming goals all together. Um, hey DJ, yes. Quick question on the sales alert. What you, is that? You said that comes in an email format. Correct. Every two weeks. Okay, and is it is it is it pretty obvious when you get you see that come into your uh, inbox? Yep, it says uh, it's from Fidelity Total Farm, and it says okay. your your farming updates. Okay, yeah, I mean this this is just absolutely uh, imperative that we're using this stuff. I mean this is absolutely uh, game changing types of information. Yeah, I, I I couldn't agree more, and what. And, um, you know, if it's not for you, just just know that we can do all these things for you. Um, and and this is, you know, kind of what some of our capabilities are. So in order to sign up. Real quick, DJ, um, I, I just want to tell everybody, this is something that you can be referencing literally every single day. And if you get in the habit of referencing this tool every day, you're going to have a massive leg up on anybody else that's trying to sell on your farm because you have all the information. And if you just kind of become religious about checking this information, knowing this information, um, I know John Espinosa on this on this call, he knows his area front and back. And so this would, might be just, you know, an additional tool for you, John, to be like, all right, yeah, here's some extra stats because, you know, he studies this stuff. He's a true professional. So this is really cool stuff, DJ. Yeah, thank you. I, I agree. I mean, some, if you're, if you're getting a fresh farm from a title company every time you send a mailing, you know, you're, you're probably not keeping close enough tabs on what's happening within the farm. If you're updating your spreadsheet by hand each month by getting updates from a title company, you probably are well aware of what's going on, but you're, you're putting in far more work and effort than you need to be. Um, something like this is, is far more efficient. Um, we have, I mean, I, I can spend all day because I love this platform, but I can get into, I mean, you can run Facebook and Instagram ads directly from here, um, <laughs> right through here. So you would click here 
And these are just generic samples. I wouldn't use one of these as it is, but you can click on it. You can change the title. You can market it to the site address, which is going to be the physical address. So it might be a renter, it might be an owner, or you can go to the mailing address, which is going to be the owner every time. And you can change the headline, the description, which is the caption. You can change the, the image just by choosing a file from your computer. Um, and that would be, you can do one image, a carousel of images, or a video, right? And you come down here and you put in your website so it you know displays your website. So there's a button that will link back to your website. You can preview it and you can run this directly to your farm um, for a minimum of five days for $37, all the way up to 60 days for $450. I mean, compared to any mailer you're going to put out there, this is the cheapest way to market. And that's where everybody is, is we're all on our phones all day. Um, organic social media is a great way to farm, but putting a little bit of money behind it and getting it specific to your farm area rather than just to the people that you're already connected with is a huge way to build a following and, and whatnot. So th there are so many... Um, neat things within this platform that, like I said, I can literally spend all day uh, going through them all. Um, but I, met, I basically just wanted to give you guys a taste and, and spark your interest. Um, I will show you how to sign up in case that's what you want to do next. Please so do. We'll sign up. <laughs> Go ahead. I said, please do. Yes, let's oh, yeah. how to sign up. Amazing. So we will send this, <clears throat> excuse me, we will send this information out to you via email um, or you can jot it down now. The site is fidelitytotalfarm.com and you simply come down here and click sign up. You'll get to this page, you put in your own information, create your own password. Um, you'll wanna select me as a rep. I'm way down on the list because this has all of our counties in here. So I'm down here under Orange County, EJ Bid. And then the system access code is going to be Fidelity with a capital F, a pound or a hashtag symbol, and then the digit one. Okay. So once you do, once you create everything, just put those two key pieces of information in and hit submit, and you will instantly have an account, uh, which gives you instant access to that mobile app, which is a great place to start. Um, and then reach out to me and set up a, a Zoom call. And we can go through a demo and make sure you know all the key features that you are most interested in. That's fantastic. Perfect uh, plan, easy to do. And then spend some time with DJ going through this thing and getting your farm set up, learning how to do this stuff, and then learning how to do it on the fly on the app. So that's real, real cool stuff. Uh, Bill, anything to follow up? No, just want to thank DJ once again for coming on and being such a, a valuable source of information for Alta and its agents. I really appreciate your time this morning, DJ. Um, I want to make sure that everyone has DJ's number. If you don't have it already, I know he's already working with some of you all and everyone's uh, been really uh, you know speaking highly of DJ. And that's obviously what we always try to do. And we always try to find the best people, best professionals in this industry to help you with your business. And so I hope you guys, if you're thinking about farming, thinking about doing marketing, thinking about uh, attacking that neighborhood that you've never gotten around to, um, now the perfect time as we come into a little bit of the slower time of year to reach out to DJ, um, introduce yourself, and he will most certainly um, help you. Um, yeah, so thank you, DJ. Let's get Kevin. Let's make sure it's, uh, his information's in the replay. Always. And then also um, DJ's information is in the ARG Agent Resource Center. So easy. Uh, and if you ever have any questions, you can always contact me and I'll put you in the right direction. But uh, DJ, thanks so much for coming on. Appreciate it. Agents, really appreciate you guys spending the time on Wednesdays to come on uh, and further your in, your knowledge. So real good yeah. stuff. And, Ke and Kev, real quick, before we sign off today... Sure. Uh, I know we've run, run a little bit longer, but I think both uh, presentations were really important. Obviously, the credit is super important, uh, not just for your buyers and uh, your clients, but also just information for yourself and your own credit stuff. So um, 
but next week, I think what we're going to try to do, I'm working on scheduling um, a presentation on the new form changes that have already been, are being actually released now. So there are some changes to the car forms that are coming here uh, for the end of 2023 into 2024. And so obviously we want to stay up to speed on that, what changes have been done, what the car attorneys are now um, recommending how we do certain um, things. So we will be uh, looking into that for next week and that'll be good, Kevin, just to keep everyone apprised and up to speed <laughs> as we need to be. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, agents, again, thank you guys. And we look forward to seeing all of you on the webinar next week. Have a nice day.